Hi, uh, this video is going to just be some further stuff about um, VoiceThread. I know that uh, there's been a lot of confusion and um, I'm hoping it's not taking up too much of your time. But, uh, you know, as we're starting to figure out more and more, um, we, can, um, we can do a lot more with VoiceThread. And certainly for me, it's been good to see, you know, you guys and hear your voices and all that. So I'm hoping to continue with that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to content here. And we're going to hopefully actually go to content. There we go. All right, I already have it here. But if you go, if, if you have it like this, you'll see table of contents and content, right? And so you would just click on table of contents here. Um, okay, let's click content. There we go. And then we're going to go down, 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 and see where it says voice thread my voice. We're going to click it. All right, and then it says voice thread my voice page, and we're going to click that as well. And here we are. Okay, you'll have some voice threads um, on your page. You might also have um, other ones that aren't related to our class. I keep getting all sorts of different fun voice threads. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Create. All right. Now, if you have a camera on your computer, actually, it doesn't really matter, um, I don't think. Um, but you go upload. Now, here are your choices. Um, you can attach something that you've already recorded someplace else. Um, I don't know what media sources mean, but I'm sure it's something important. If you recorded something on your computer, you can upload it there. Or um, what I like to do is just my webcam. Okay, so I click my, click my web, webcam. The next thing it's going to do is it's going to want to allow access to the camera and microphone. I'm a little bit afraid to do this because I don't know if the microphone um, will uh, work with two different things. Uh, but let's see how this goes. I'm going to hit allow. And I'm going to hit allow again. There we go. Okay, you can see me and um, you know, uh, let's see. So we'll hit video, and then it's going to go three, two, one, and now we're live. This is really weird because I'm recording myself recording something. So I'm just doing this as a test. I don't know how this video is actually going to come out in practice, uh, but we'll see. Okay, now that I've recorded my video, I'm going to stop. All right, now. That I'm done, I'm going to hit close. And you'll see this little thing cranking up because what it's doing is it's processing my video. And it's processing my video. And I'm going to pause until it's done. Oh, never mind. There you go. Okay. So um, I'm not sure about the comment. That's the last thing we really have to work out. I know we've been just posting our comments. Um, but I'm going to hit share. Oh wait, actually the first thing I'm going to do is hit it, add a title. And I'm going to call this um, uh, test video and I'm going to hit save. All right, now you'll see, actually if I can go down, there we go, it says test video and um, I'm going to hit share. Now, you'll notice that I have a couple of options. One is to get a link and the other is I can share with groups. Now, our class should be in here. Now, if for some reason you've taken the class a number of times, or in my case taught the class a number of times, you're going to see many classes. Um, if you're unsure which class it is, just keep clicking and that's obviously not our class and then uh, that's not our class either. 
So there we go. See, I can recognize your guys' names. And so I'm going to click to share with that and I'm gonna click all. All right, and now um, it's shared with you guys and you should be able to go in and find it. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna do is click get a link. When I click get a link, I'm gonna copy the link and it's also gonna say allow anyone to view and comment. All right, so I'm gonna copy the link. Now make sure you've got that allow anyone to view and comment or um, other people aren't gonna view. Now I've covered two bases here because I've shared it and I've also got the link. Now, once I do that, I'm done. And I'm going to go back up. I'm gonna try and go back up. There we go. And I'm going to go to discussions. And just to avoid any confusion, I'm going to go to topic eight. How did Locke influence Jefferson? And I'm going to hit, um, well, in this, yeah, start a new thread. It's like I'm doing a discussion. Let me pull this down to where you can see it. Subject, test, voice thread. And then I'm going to put the cursor in there and hit Control V, which is paste or right click paste. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, wait, let me go back. That was a little bit, probably fast. See this thing that looks like a chain? It's, it's a link maker. And so we insert a quick link, we hit URL, we go into the URL and we highlight everything and again hit paste, control V or um, there are other ways you could do it. I, I would probably have it go into a new window. I'm gonna hit insert. Oh, I, I forgot, I've also gotta paste it here. I hit insert, and you notice that I didn't need to do the first thing that I pasted, so I'll just get out of that. And there we are, okay? And that's a live link that anyone can click into. All right, and then I'm going to Finish spell test, and then I'm going to save. How am I going to do that? Oh, I'm going to hit post. Okay, and now it's up. Now I'm intrigued by something else, but I'll worry about that later. So there it is. It's posted, and then you should be able to click in and get into it because I've shared with you um, a number of different ways. So now I'm going to my home. I'm going to go to content, sorry, if I can get up there, it's not allowing me, oh, because I'm looking at the wrong place. So I'm back on VoiceThread, I'm going to go to VoiceThread, okay, it's opening, all right, I'm going to our class. That's our class, and now this is where I hope. That it would have been shared. All right, at this point, I'm getting a little bit nervous, but what I'm going to do now is go down to groups. That's not it. Um, I don't believe that's it. It's got to be in here somewhere. Okay, it's not. Um, I'm okay with that because I should just be able to um, go back. I don't know why it didn't get added. Oh, I know how to add it to the group. So I'm going to go to Owned by Me. This is the 
test video I just made. Okay, I'm guessing that my hair looks better. There we go. That looks like me, doesn't it? Okay. And now we're live. This is really weird because I'm recording myself recording something. And now, see, so I'm just doing we're this listening to the recording of the recording and talking over it. Um, this is pretty much like something from The Matrix. So what I'm going to do to share that, actually, is I'm going to pull it into here. And I think I went over that in an earlier one. Um, so you guys should all have access to it that way, but you should also have been able to click the link. All right. Uh, so if you have any questions, I hope this is helpful, but if you do have any questions, I'm going to post something in next week's just, you know, questions on uh, VoiceThread. All right. So I hope this is helpful. And um, if you have any questions or, you know, you have any suggestions about how to better use VoiceThread, I'm certainly open to that. All right. Thank you.